Hi everyone, it's Sorkin. Today we have a problem when we are given a string s and we need to convert that to 32 bit integer similar to C, C++, ASCII to integer function. So also we have a requirements. The first requirement is that if there, if there is any leading white space, we need to ignore that. So for example, in this case, example two, right? We have a white space here and we are ignoring that. The next one is that that if we have a minus or plus sign, so our final result should be either positive or negative. So for example, in this case, we have minus sign, right? Minus 42, our final result is minus 42. So uh, the next one is third requirement is that the, if we need to consider only 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 digit characters. So we, we should ignore the non digit characters. So we should end our string, we should we should stop counting the we should stop counting the number until we reach a non-digit character. So what's that mean? So for example, in this case, let's say we have another scenario. Again, we have a white space, we have minus 42, and we have here A, B, C, right? So we should stop counting until we reach the next non-digit character, which means that the A, so we are returning minus 42. So the next one, next requirement is that if there is no digit, then we are returning zero. And the fifth requirement is that if our number, right, in the string, if it's more than integer max or integer minimum, integer max is being that the minus two to the power of 31, and integer max is being the to the two to the power of 31 minus one, we are returning either integer minimum to the minus two to the power of 31, or we are returning integer max, which is 2 to the power of 31 minus 1. To solve this problem, we are maintaining three variables. First one is a sign, so either it's a positive or negative. So as, a, as for start, we are assuming that it's a positive and we are setting that to 1. The result, the final result that we are returning and the index, which means that the index at the so we are going to go over our input. So index, we are starting from the index zero. So first thing that what we do, we are going over our string until and increasing our index until the until we have white spaces. So we are moving our index. So let's say that in our previous example, right? So we had the white spaces, then minus 42. So we are moving our index to the, let's say, third position. The next one is that we are checking that the, if, again, the first condition is we are checking that the, we are moving our index until our index is less than the input length. So the next one we are checking if we have in the next character minus one, so which means that our final result would be will be minus one. And um, our final result will be negative. So, and we are setting our sign to minus one and increasing our index. If it's a positive, we are just increasing our index and going to the next character. So the next step is that what we do here, we are checking while our index again is less than our input length, we are taking a digit, whatever the digit is there. And if our digit is between between zero and the nine, so which means that it's it's a digit, then what we do here. So if it's not, then we are breaking right away because we have to move until we until we have a digits. And we are so we are exiting, uh, so we are returning the number if there is the un, until if we have first non digit number, right? As in this case, let's say that the, we have a case white space minus 42. And we have here a b c so in this case if we are here let's say we have a right so it means that uh, we have to break and we have to return the result right away so until we have until we have our digits so what we do we are we are checking that at each at each iteration right we are checking that the, if our result is more than our integer max value so how do we check that so we are we are we are checking that the, if the integer max divided by 10 if our result is that more than that so it means that in the next iteration right we are going to add our to our result a digit which will be which will exceed the integer maximum or or let's say that our result is equals to integer max value but we can we still can add the digit right we still can add we still can have uh, can add digit but we need to check that the, that digit should be should be less than the 
less than the integer uh, max value divided by the modulo 10. So integer max value is, so this is the, our integer max value, right? And if we are taking the modulo, so this value, it, so this value basically here, it equals to seven. So which means that if our, if our, it equals to seven. So if our if our result is equals to integer maximum value divided by ten, we still can manage to add the digit to it if that digit is less than seven. So if it if this condition is not met, so let's say that it's eight or nine, then in that case again, depending on the sign, if the sign is one, then we are returning integer max value. If it's not, then we are returning integer mean value by requirement. And if if not, then what we do, we are multiplying our result to 10 and we are adding the next digit, right? So for example, let's say that in first iteration, we added four, so four multiplied by 10, so 40, 40 plus two, so 42. And as we exit this loop, so what we do at the end? At the end, we are just, uh, whatever our sign is, so for example, in this case, our sign is negative, so negative, so minus one multiplied by result, which is a minus 42 and uh, which we are returning. So what's the time and space complexity of this solution? The time complexity is uh, of n because we are going over our string only once and the space complexity is of one because we don't use any extra space. Okay, uh, that's it for today. Hope you like my content. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you next time, bye.